Hey guys, Omerico here, self-taught web developer. In my first YouTube video, we created something called pricing tables and we used the card deck feature from Bootstrap 4. In this video, we will use one more feature from Bootstrap 4 and it will be card columns. With card columns, we will create a grid gallery that you could see right now on the screen. For more good content, make sure to be subscribed to the channel and click the bell button so you could get notified on my next video. Let's now jump into coding. So here we are with our code. For the code, I have just simple HTML file and I imported a bootstrap CSS file. Uh, we don't use any JavaScript files from bootstrap or jQuery at all because we don't need those. We just need the CSS for this tutorial. As you can see, we will create in this tutorial grid gallery with bootstrap 4. So I will start my code somewhere here and I will first uh, put a container for a main wrapper for our uh, grid gallery. Then I will use a row as we need one uh, after container, right? So main thing that we will use here is called card columns. Columns, yeah. Uh, this will be our main wrapper uh, that we will use uh, to wrap our uh, gallery, basically. So, okay, so what this card column really do? If I go to uh, Bootstrap official website, you could see that in the card columns uh, section, we have that uh, card uh, uh, grid that you could see here. So uh, you could use different cards, obviously, for uh, quotes, for images, for, uh, I don't know, with the titles and stuff like that. So you could uh, use uh, different variations of, of the cards. But we will use mostly this one here, card image, as we will basically create the gallery that will uh, look uh, as a grid gallery with just the images, nothing else. Back to the code. Here, I will create my first card. So card, and inside of that card we must have card body itself, and here we will put our image. So for the image here, I won't use my own images, I will just go to uh, Unsplash here, and there is a source for uh, random images. So I will copy this link here, you can see source.unsplash.com, so I will come back into code, and I will copy that source here. For the alt name, I will just put image. So what will this do for our uh, for our page now? I will come here, refresh the code, and here you can see that the, that we have our image from Unsplash. If I refresh the page, we will get the different image every time. It's a random image from Unsplash. But uh, what you could see here as the issue is that we could scroll even like this horizontally, right? And you could see that there is an issue, right? So why can we scroll horizontally? Well. Uh, if I go, uh, if I inspect my card, and here I have my card columns, I will click on that card columns, you can see this property, CSS property on it, car, uh, column count 3. So, it will basically read uh, cards inside of that uh, card columns section, and it will put a uh, normal width to the tree of uh, those cards. So we have one card here, and we have empty space for another one here and obviously another one here. So there, that will be the three of those. So if I inspect the element here and I go to card columns and I put here one, you could see that we lost that uh, scroll uh, that we had on the bottom, right? And there is just uh, one uh, card here. So I will refresh the page to bring it back. Uh, and this issue is easily fixed in a code. So I will put the width to my image here to 100%. If I save the file and I refresh it, you could see now that we have that uh, width of 100%. So, yeah, you could see the difference, right? So, uh, why why that uh, why that width fix the issue? Well, basically, if we have the card columns that is set to uh, column count to three, as by default it is, uh, it will read the one card in it and it will set his width to the one column itself, right? So, if there is three columns, one here will be second and here will be third. It will set one image to width. Well, uh, if we set the width to 100%, it will set just for that one column itself. Uh, I will go back to my code and I will copy this card two more times so you could see what this really looks like. So, if I refresh the page, here it is, right? We have the three images and you could see that there is a there uh, there is a three uh, count. So, uh, if I 
uh, use something like this here. If I go to my head component here, head uh, uh, tag here, and I use a style, and for style, I will grab my card columns class, card columns, and I will set the column count to two, for example. So what will this do? If I refresh the page, you could see that we have that two of those, and one will go down basically. So there, there will be just two of the counts itself. So I will come back here and I will uh, delete this part as we want to use it. Uh, we could grab a container, container and put the margin to top by 50 pixels. So we could create some spacing from the top here. Yeah, that's cool. So now you could see that whenever I refresh the page, I will get the same images for uh, every card. And there is a way to do something like that uh, by uh, Unsplash. We could uh, set the parameter of uh, B as a version to 1. And this could be 2. And this could be, for example, 3. So for this one, if I refresh the page, uh, for mo uh, mostly, uh, yeah, mostly we will get the different uh, images now. But uh, at some points, uh, you will get the same image also. But uh, here are the different images. Now you can see there that all those versions pull the same image, but uh, mostly it will be the different image. So for next part, I will copy my three of those cards that I have now, and I will paste those below. Uh, let me tap this. And I can change also versions here to five and here to six. So you, we could see the different images. So now you could see that the grid gallery is forming itself basically. So if I refresh the page, yeah, it will be the different, it will go into empty space that it has, right? So I will show you how this really works in a second. I will copy uh, that three more times. Uh, well, third time, sorry. So here, uh, yeah, let me copy once more. Okay, versions will be, let me set this also for five and uh, six of this, six version for this one. And when I refresh the page, there it is, we have a couple of images in our gallery now. So now, as you saw on, uh, on the cards uh, column here, uh, you could see that we could use uh, different things inside of those cards and stuff like that. So uh, we will uh, do a little bit of styling here at our cards. So you could see the different variations of this. First of all, we could, for example, lose this padding around these images. How we will do that? We will grab our uh, card body here. And if I set padding to zero pixel, I come back to refresh code. You could see that we lost that uh, empty space and the image images are the full now. So yeah, you could get the point right now. Also, I could do some image caption around here. So I will go back into code. And for this one here in the card body, I will uh, use uh, something like a card text class. It, it's a div and uh, we will use a small element inside of it. For small element, I will put a class also text muted. So that will give it a grayish color. Also, I will put, uh, for example, code image. Uh, as a image caption. If I refresh the, uh, my pre uh, preview, you could see that there it is that uh, caption. So now as we set that, that uh, padding to zero, I will move it to five pixels. And now it looks uh, better, right? Also, there is something uh, called uh, coloring on uh, uh, card, cards themselves. So here we could use uh, also the color or different colors inside of the card, so we will use that. So for the second card here, I will put the uh, color here to BG, to background, uh, primary, and it will give it that blue color. If I refresh the page, you could see that our second one is uh, blue around, right? So yeah, the image is inside, but this is a blue around. Also, we could use for the third one, I will copy this same thing, but uh, I will put uh, info color for this one for example if i refresh it you could see that info color around it so this looks nice right also one thing that you notice 
that the count of these uh, images are not going like uh, first image, second image, third image. No, it is going first image, second image, third image. And it will go all the way down. And uh, from that point, it will move it to the second column, third column, and so on, so on. So first, uh, if I put one more card, uh, it should put that card somewhere here. As there, here, we have more empty space than here, right? So that is how the card columns really work. I hope that you like what you see in this video today and I hope that you learned something new. So make sure to be subscribed to the channel and make sure to click that bell button so you could get notified about new videos as there will be much more videos in the future. Till next one.